Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am starving and very, very excited today. I'm going for overall food challenge victory number 1068. I am in downtown Iowa City of, of course, Iowa. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. City is of course the hometown of the University of Iowa Hawkeyes. We've been sightseeing all around today. It's been amazing, but we are here at the actual original location of Panchero's Mexican Grill. It was born basically 30 years ago, back in 1992. Now Panchero's has over 70 locations in 12 different states. That number is gonna to continue to grow. I'm hoping to become the first person to dominate Panchero's Menu Food Challenge. Now, it's called that because I'll basically be feasting on like a double-sized portion of one of each of their menu items. So, of course, they're well known for their burritos, Right here, I've got Bob like a champion today, and that's because this burrito, it is Bob, so that it's mixed up. There's a bit of everything in every single bite. They've got four meats, steak, chicken, tofuzada, and then pork carnitas, but this has double chicken. So this is the chicken burrito. It's got cilantro, lime, rice. Then we've got black beans in this. Pico de gallo, lettuce, all of these pretty much have their shredded American white cheese. Over here is one of their burrito bowls. This is of course a steak burrito bowl. It's got two more scoops of their cilantro lime rice. I think there was pinto beans on this. There's like four scoops of their steak meat. They've got guacamole on here, more shredded American cheese. I know we've got salsa. I think it's this green verde sauce. And then they've got raw, freshly cut jalapenos on some of these things too. I know those are in their quesadilla. This has pork carnitas, and I know that pork's looking juicy, so I'm excited to bite into that. This is a healthy salad, which has a whole bunch of their healthy grilled vegetables. I'm pumped for those. And then this is a cilantro lime vinaigrette designed to go on this healthy salad. We've got a whole bunch of roasted corn salsa on a lot of these things too, but I know the lettuce is all on the bottom, and then this has like four scoops of their Tofu Zada. It is vegan. Yes, that's certified. So, and then we do have four tacos here, one with each meat. One's got the tofu zada, one's got pork carnitas, one's got the beef steak, and the other has chicken. But in addition to that, Pancheros is well known for their chips and queso. So we've got one bag of their blue corn tortilla chips right here, and then this is their queso sauce. So we are gonna finish that. Pretty much everything is homemade, and all the tortillas on here are hand pressed. But if I fail this thing within the one hour time limit, it's all gonna be around $80. But if I do win, I'll get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet gift box of sweet t-shirts, stickers, and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm actually already wearing one, so I do have to win this thing. And I'll get my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame here at the original location of Ranchero's Mexican Grill. Let's get this challenge started. All right, we've had tons of comments about how much I'm gonna love this food because remember, they're in 12 states, over 70 locations. Big thank you to everybody here with Poncheros for having Katina and I in. Let's just shut up and eat. I've done enough talking. Let's dig into this burrito first. That's gonna be yummy. One, two, three, boom. All right. That thing is huge. That was a lot. I don't need to tell you this, I hope, but this is a lot of food. Thankfully, we've got an hour. This burrito was made with love, and I told him to add another scoop of the fresh raw jalapenos because I didn't think it had enough. That was a mistake. This is spicy. <laughs> This has like a big old scoop of this queso sauce, which is why it's a little bit thicker, creamy, amazing, but it's going down. Look at how stuffed that is. And this hand-pressed tortilla is awesome too. And that cilantro lime rice is great too. That's got great flavor.
Let's move over to some of the quesadilla with pork carnitas. This quesadilla is of course loaded with their shredded American cheese. Like everything with cheese, it is amazing. And now it has more cheese. They make this guacamole here too. All right, let's finish off the rest of this quesadilla. The pork carnitas are juicy. Each of these tacos are made with basically half of a burrito tortilla. This is beef steak, let's do this. All right, this one's chicken. Thankfully, I like sour cream because there's a lot of sour cream on all this too. Last oversized bite of this taco. I've had every meat. I haven't had the tofuzada, so let's dig into this salad. It's time to add on this cilantro lime vinaigrette. Katina's back. She knows we're eating beans and rice and fiber and stuff, so what did you do? Oh, we got two queen beds. <laughs> We're not sharing a, a king bed tonight. We never do, I sleep on a cot. Amen, because I am Catholic. That dressing, the black beans, all these grilled vegetables on here, this is a good salad. I'm pumped about eating all of this today. This is something I would order now that I've had it and tried it. And this roasted corn salsa. Do some more chips and dip. That is good. Every Poncheros around the country has the same menu, so if you live near one, go enjoy it. I'm gonna finish all these, but I don't really need any more salsa, I don't think, so. I'm getting all my vitamin C in the tomatoes. <laughs> I live in Wisconsin now, it's okay to eat cheese like that. I'm not to the point where I'm gonna wear shorts in a snowstorm, but I can eat cheese. I am gonna finish off with this salad. The salad is delish. Might be in my top three of this thing. All right, all done with the salad. I'm waiting to have the burrito bowl until the end, which I probably should have done after the burrito, but I am going to finish off the rest of these tacos. I am gonna add a little guacamole, but I will add the rest oh, onto this because there's already some. This guac is good too. I know we've got the tofu left, and then I think we have the pork carnitas left too. Okay, this is the tofu zada. I don't say this often, but these tacos are bigger than expected. This tofu taco is a mess. All right, last bite of this one, thankfully. Now we've got a Diet Coke to finish off this delicious pork carnitas taco. Last bite of this pork carnitas taco with the added guacamole. All done. This is what was on top of all four of those tacos. Their Flavel Cano sauce. It is a smoky red pepper sauce. 33 minutes to do this, we got it.
One of my favorite ingredients is this cilantro lime rice. It's delicious, it's very flavorful. I don't do big burps like Katina does. That's why I don't have the room. You guys are worried about me finishing. Meanwhile, I'm wondering what I'm doing for dessert. I'm not wondering what I'm having for dessert. Not only is this a lot of food, but also my strategy was terrible. I should have done this earlier on. And the salsa on here is their Greenade Tangy Green Chili Sauce. It is yummy. Remember, if this was easy, more people would do it. Let's get the rest down. I will say this, this is a lot of food, but also the last two challenges, I didn't really have to push myself. But we're gonna win today too, don't you worry. Ah! I am the first winner, Katina's going after me, so she of course has one hour, but the time to beat, 44 minutes and 30 seconds. My very first Poncheros Mexican Grill experience. Of course I liked the blue corn tortilla chips and the queso. I'm gonna have to go with the burrito and all the flavors in every bite. If I would have eaten it earlier, I would of course loved that steak burrito bowl, but yeah. I enjoyed the pork carnitas quesadilla, and then all four of those tacos were great too, but everything was just amazing. Nothing on here that I did not like, and remember, if you come to any of the over 70 Poncheros Mexican Grill locations around the country, you can have it your way with those four meats. Everybody's got the same menu. I am, of course, going to get my around $80 meal for free. I will get actually four sweet t-shirts. I've got one of them on. They gave us a really cool box set. I'll also have my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame here at the original downtown Iowa City location of Poncheros Mexican Grill. Thank you guys all so much for coming. Of course, thanks to everybody here with Poncheros for having Katina and I in to help kick off this challenge, which was so delicious. For me, it was overall victory number 1,068. I've got a big burger challenge coming up pretty far away in Topeka, Kansas tomorrow, but thank you guys for watching.